You're this perp back with another video, and this is going to be my final movie review of the day. The last one I saw in the theaters is Cobweb. I really wanted to see this. This was a horror movie that's really been going under the radar, and hopefully, with word of mouth, it'll probably pick up, you know, later on this year or as time goes on. Because this one was very special, and it did some things that are very different. Um, compared to some of the more legacy franchise horror um, movies that we see nowadays and you know there's just been this uprise with indie or just new brand new horror ideas and this this is definitely something worth watching definitely have its flaws it's not perfect but I had a lot of fun with this this had a lot of twists and turns so this is following this kid named peter and he's just a really weird awkward kind of creepy ass kid and has some shady ass parents that are played by um anthony star he plays mark and peter's mother is played by uh lizzie kaplan you might recognize her name from the likes of castle rock she played the younger version of annie wilkins from misery and she also was in um the interview and she was also in freaks and geeks as well so really dope cast some no names but essentially what ends up happening is one night peter is sleeping all of a sudden he hears just a knock in his walls and it just kind of creeps him out and it ends up talking back to him and then it becomes this kind of like um uh, boy who cried wolf situation where every time he goes to you know when, anytime he freaks out pretty much the parents kind of don't really believe him obviously but for good reason because they know more that meets the eye as far as what's behind the wall and it's very creepy and it's very eerie and it's a very um kind of dark it's a very dark story you know there's there's a like i said there's a lot of shady things going on with his parents and just the way the mom acts and the dad acts they're both equally pretty intimidating and creepy especially uh lizzie kaplan's character she just does a phenomenal job just being creepy in this and there's also bullies in this the kid has a really hard time at school to the point where one of the bullies messes up one of the pumpkins and this takes place right around like halloween trick-or-treat time you know what i'm saying and um what ends up happening is one of the bullies messes up one of his uh pumpkins pretty much and what he does he has this thing that's talking to him through the walls push him to kind of put harm on people or get revenge you know stand up for himself in a sense and what ends up happening is he pushes one of these kids down a fucking flight of stairs and that shit was graphic it was all fuck that's the biggest spoiler i can kind of give you um, but what that leads to is some very interesting twists and turns throughout this whole entire movie. And it's only an hour and 28 minutes. So the runtime is very smooth. It doesn't feel like anything kind of drags. It starts right from the get go. Doesn't waste really any time. It's a really fun, fun time. And I like how whatever the entity or thing that he's talking to, the way that they don't upright show it until the very end you can obviously see that it has some like kind of cgs type of moment movements but i think it's utilized in a way where it's it's effective at least and who knows and they definitely kind of left it up in the open for a possible sequel or if they just wanted to end it like that that's pretty interesting i don't i, I think it'd be cool to get a sequel to kind of see where they would go with this story where would they go with peter and his connection to the thing that he's talking to behind the wall but this was a creepy eerie horror movie that i definitely would recommend checking out if it's playing 
at a theater near you if you got done watching Barbie you got done watching Oppenheimer and you're looking for a third film that's completely different from those two and you're looking for some cool original horror movie that you could just enjoy sit back and it's not too long it's not going to drag out too long uh you could just sit there and enjoy being spooked out or creeped out because i think they did some interesting creative things within this uh in this movie like i said it's not perfect the the main flaws i have was with the actual entity at times but at time other times it was very effective it's kind of 50 50 but let me know if you've seen this movie your thoughts of it in the comments below till next time i'll see y'all the next one peace